Hey, hey guys, Roddy Patriot. All right, guys, so. Boy, oh boy. So the truth will set you free, guys. I'm telling you. It, this country is doomed, guys. This country is doomed. You got immigrants flooding in this country, destroying our country. All so that a president can fucking get fucking votes. The same president. You have a presidential nominee, Trump, who flies over a country and when he lands in the net, or flies over a state and when he lands in his home, he's got 16 fucking uh, indictments um, from that state he flew over for dumb shit. For doing a bank deal on his Marlago property that nobody lost money. He paid him back. They got their extra money. He paid the interest, all that. The, even the bank said, hey, we're happy. We There's nothing. We will do business with him again. But he gets fined $500 million. Uh, or or four point something billion dollars or some shit. It was fucking ridiculous. Anyway. Or no, it was $500 million. Yeah, my bad. It was like $500 million. But all that. I don't care about that. But um, he wants fucking uh, cops to have absolute immunity. So I, I would never vote for him anyway. But, but Biden, guys. Now, you guys sitting down for this because... I don't know how many of y'all know about this, so I'm just going to let you know. You might want to sit down on this one. So here's how fucked up our justice system is, you guys. Here's how there's no hope for this country, no hope for the justice system. The police are scumbags. The FBI are just as big as scumbags. The Department of Justice is a joke and full of scumbags. So we all know that the Biden's fam the Biden, um, Joe and his wife's kids are all fucked up. Hunter's a fucking prostitute cocaine sniffing fucking nasty whore monger well all his kids are fucking fucked up in the head dude his daughter ashley guys was staying in a house i i, I think it was a halfway house for for drug abuse well when she left she left behind her diary right well the next girl that got her room found this diary well after she got out of the rehab she I guess got a hold of a reporter and sold the fucking diary to a reporter. I fuck, I'd have done the same thing. Fuck that bitch. Especially after she found out what was in it. So, inside this diary, it had how she took, she was hypersexualized as a child, um, had sex with family members and friends, and um, took, uh, she remembers taking um, uh, showers with her dad. And then even behind that, it's like, probably not appropriate. And then it goes, was I molested? Probably. Um, sink that in, you guys. I want you guys to sink that in. And by God, I mean, as bad as that is, that's not even the fucking worst of it, guys. I mean, that that's pr pretty much the worst of it. But the atrocity hasn't came yet. So, when this hit, hit, the, hit the airways... You know, do we hear that on the news anywhere? Are you guys hearing that fucking mainstream media? Anyone, anyone, CNN, MSNBC, Fox? Anybody heard about this? No, you haven't, because they won't report on it. But so the White House is claiming, oh, that's not true. It's not her diary. It's a fake. But the Department of Justice and the FBI raided these this girl's home took the diary, arrested her, and she's, I'm pretty sure, serving two years in prison because they're saying she stole the diary. She didn't steal it. She found it in a fucking halfway house. So, <clears throat> for a, a supposed diary that Biden family's claiming wasn't Ashley's to begin with, they had the Department of Justice raid have the FBI be, had the FBI raid a home of somebody for a stolen diary? Hmm. Boy, man, I sure hope none of my kids uh, uh, left their diary in my house on accident because I might get the FBI to raid my house. I mean, because, you know, that's just normal practice, right? I mean, if it wasn't real and it wasn't really her diary, why did the Department of Justice demand prison time for her for this girl turned it into her stealing Ashley's diary 
The girl didn't steal Ashley's diary. The girl wasn't even there with Ashley. The records from the halfway house show that she came in right after her. So that girl took Ashley's Biden's bed. You know what I'm saying? There's only so many beds a halfway house has. And that's where she found the fucking diary. So, you know, kind of contradicts it, don't it? Like, okay, well, Biden family, if, you, if you're going to deny it, then why would you have the Department of Justice and, and the FBI go after the person? Why would you have the Department of Justice demand prison time? Since when does the Department of Justice and the FBI get involved in someone's stolen fucking diary? I mean, it wasn't the president's daughter, so why would they get involved in it, right? Yeah. So tell me how that's justice. Tell me how that isn't corruption. I hope Biden knows about, or I hope Trump knows about this, because we all know he's going to be the next president, unfortunately. <clears throat> I mean, it's definitely better than a Democrat. But, you know, bad for us who are in our civil rights and believe that police need to be held accountable. Um, I hope he knows about this so that he can pardon them people. Because I'm pretty sure the the journalist got time too, but I'm not 100 percent sure um, about that. I just know that the woman that um, found the diary that they switched it around and said she stole it did get two years in prison. So, yeah, tell me how that's not fucked up. Was facing five years in prison. Since when do you face five years in prison for stealing a fucking diary? Even if she stole the diary, what would that be? Petty fucking theft? I mean, how much did the diary cost? Five bucks? Ten bucks? Twenty? Okay, this is her. It's Biden's. It's a Biden family member's diary. Let's say fifty bucks. I hell, I'd be generous. They're billionaires. Five hundred dollars for the diary. It's still not a felony. You know what I'm saying? She had a gold-paged diary. So five hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, man fucking get the fucking fuck right out of here I mean this just to me guys puts the nail in the coffin for anyone any one of us ever getting justice you know what I'm saying any one of us and when I say us I'm talking about the auditors and the cop watchers you know what I'm saying it just goes to show that if you rustle the feathers you they will take you down they will take you down there's nothing you can do about it no one's going to help you um there's no lawyers out here that that have a heart that would be like, oh man, that person got a raw deal. I think I'm going to defend them um, pro bono. You know what I'm saying? Just like me, the made up bullshit that this this fucking police station's done against me. No, I ain't had no lawyers walk up to me and say, hey man, I'm going to I'm going to represent you for free. I know you're getting a raw deal. I know they're framing you. I know that this is all made up bullshit. But we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, so I'm gonna defend you, and I'm gonna rigorously defend you, and I'm gonna put everything I have into defending you because I, it's the right thing to do. No, I don't. I'm gonna have to be stuck with a fucking court-appointed fucking lawyer, who all the only interest is is fucking a plea deal for me. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I knew what they would do. I knew the possibility of what they would do to me when I got into this game. I accepted it, so I'll accept it. You know, if I go down, falsely go down for something they say I did and I know I didn't do, then I guess I'll take my lumps. You know, I mean, granted, I was hoping, I I hoped that I, I would get a little help with, from the community. I haven't had one, not one single auditor or cop watcher out there that's got a bigger channel than mine give me a hand at all not none of them's reached out to me to try to help nothing so it is what it is so i mean it's it's my problem not theirs so it is what it is what am i going to do about it guys you know um i thought i had some people who had that had my back but obviously i don't so i just do my best you know but anyways, all that aside, isn't that some fucked up shit, you guys? Tell me how anybody can have the, just an inkling of hope for our country when shit like that goes down, guys. It, it's, oh my God, dude. I mean, look at what they're doing, what, they're, what, what this country is letting Biden do to it. Well, he is destroying our country. Destroying it. 
three over three million immigrants have come, illegal immigrants have come into this country in the past year. That's three million extra voters for Donald or for for Joe Biden. That's that's their that's how they're looking at it. Period. They could care less about any one of them fucking illegals. They don't care if they come here and die in the street as long as they get to vote before they do. That's that's all they care about. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just like Biden said, it would be the biggest Russell ICE movement, uh, you know, deportation in the history of America <clears throat> when he gets president. I mean, it's the only way it's going to change anything because, I mean, we have other countries, you guys, that have literally emptied out their prisons at the border to the United States to, to drop their prisoners off to let them come into America. There's literally Venezuelan prisons that are empty right now because they took all their prisoners and dumped them into America. It's fucking crazy, guys. Fucking crazy. Think about that. There's missing Americans that have been just driving down the road and all of a sudden they never made it to their destination and never been found again. There's immigrants squatting in people's houses and when they come to look uh, check on the property, they murder them. They murder them. This is all shit that has happened, guys. Opening fire in a crowded, uh, in public, in crowded spaces, and shooting innocent bystanders just standing in line to get shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what driving mopeds and yanking women's purses off of them, getting their cell phones, hacking into them, and stealing all their money out of their bank accounts. This is what these people are doing, you guys, because they're criminals and they're gang. They're gang members. And guys, this that's just the beginning. Don't think that this is the worst. Don't think what you're seeing on the, the news and what, you know, a little bit of the fake news is reporting on it. You have to watch other shit besides mainstream media because that shit's all garbage. To find out the real news, you have to look for it yourself. But that's just the beginning. That's just the little gangbangers that ain't shit. You know, they're really a bunch of bitches. They're, they're not shit. The real problem is the terrorists that's been in, let into our country that we don't even know about yet. But we're going to know about it as soon as they they get through with their plans and get them going. Because you can believe that our enemies have sent operatives into our country. 100%. 100% they're here. It's not a matter of if a terrorist attack happens inside of our country. It's just a matter of when. And if we're lucky, there will only be one. But I believe that more than one country that despises us and hates us has had has let their people, their terrorist, you know, people in. China, Afghanistan, Iraq. You know what I'm saying? Iran. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? These are all countries that hate us, guys. Hate us. So, you know, we could have four, five, six different military aged men that's been from different countries that's been laid in here that are affiliated but come in separately and met up here in the country to to, to do their plans. So, but it's gonna happen. It's not a matter of when. It's a, or a matter of if. It's a matter of when. And so all these little robberies and shit, that, that ain't nothing, man. That's just your local, you know, hoodlums, you know, that's come from the streets of Venezuela and Mexico and Everywhere else, excuse me, Peru, and anywhere else that they've come from. You know what I mean? They have literally hundreds, I watched it, I don't know, probably a month ago, hundreds of Chinese men, military fighting age men, coming into America. Chinese. How the fuck did they get here, you guys? China. From China. Come on, man. Think about it, y'all. Think the fuck about it. They sure didn't walk here from China think about it but anyways guys you know enough doom and gloom i guess anyways y'all be cool stay safe guys if you're out in public you guys keep your head on a swivel and be aware of your surroundings i can't stress that enough you guys be vigilant especially if you have your family out please be vigilant all right y'all take care i'm gonna pin my gofundme to the top again if y'all want to help, I appreciate it. Y'all be cool and stay safe. Roddy Patriot out.